Hey guys, Taro here. Welcome back to another match of the Rocket League Championships. This time, match 30 up against the Skyhawks, who are a team that I think are above us in the overall standings. And we're going for a first touch. Can we get it? Yes, we do. And it comes to the side of the Skyhawks, and we're coming to this match. Off the back of four straight defeats and quite convincing defeats as well. So we need, we need to get a win on the board. Because I would say you could get a draw, but there's no such thing as a draw in the uh, Rocket League Championship, so it's all or nothing. And the ball comes into our side now for the first time in this game. Can try and get a touch. Actually, well, no, it gets cleared by Wolfie immediately, so uh, he didn't even need us to actually get a clear of the ball. We need to clear it out of our side and go for a nice hit. Yes, we do. And get the ball now into the side of the Skyhawks. Go for a hit, try and get it towards the goal. No, that goes absolutely nowhere near towards the goal. Actually, it's a hit there from Wolfie. Wolfie, though, gets the goal. Just have to say that. So, Wolfie, the match actually made something out of that. I have absolutely no idea how he did. The hit is wall, it doesn't really go anywhere. And Wolfie, though, just gets the perfect angle into the goal. Nothing the goalkeeper could have done about that. Now we actually lead the match, and it's been a long time since I've actually been able to say that we've been leading a match. And could this be a good ending? Can we finally turn our fortunes around? Because we're teetering above the playoff places. I think we're in fifth, but then again, the gap between fifth, sixth, seventh, and that. So we need to be in the top six by the end of the the end of the, the round robin matches. And if a nice play ball, they get the ball away from our goal. And trying to get for a touch to come back down. We'll, I think we got a touch on that, but either way, the ball's going back into the side now of the Skyhawks. So it's going onto the side where it needs to be. And again, for a touch, and we miss a complete because I thought it was going to be angled a bit more over than what it was. And again, not really too worried because the ball's still in the side, side of the Skyhawks going towards the goal once again. And Wolfie now gets his second goal in that show. Wolfie, he's been a bit. He's been a bit, do, bit uh, dormant, really. He hasn't really done too much in the past few matches. And actually, I don't think he touched that. I think, I think that was more of a slider. But if you want to give Wolfie the goal, then it's a, a goal is a goal, so that's fine by me. Now, sliding in the middle for the second time now, so nothing really you can do here. The way forward, we're going to go for a nice defensive hit there. Although we don't get a clear one, I think, that, honestly. If you're going to have hit that, that quite possibly have gone towards the goal. Well, he's probably gone in it anyway. Now, going for the Wolves goal, we're going to try and stop this. We get a nice block there with, with Sundown. Get the ball away from our goal for immediately, so get rid of the immediate threat. And I go for a tiny hit. No, we missed that completely because the, well, the Skyhawks player's got to it first. So we've just, just got over three and a half minutes of this match left to go, and we've got a two-goal lead, so if you can try and keep that, then that's perfectly fine by you. Well, just a win in general will be fine by me. But with how much goal difference we've lost, with our crushing defeats in the final few matches, if we can try and get some of that back as well, that'd be even better. And then Wolfie now gets his hat-trick now within the first two minutes of play. Still over three minutes of the game left to go, and Wolfie is, is he's just unstoppable in this game so far. Wolfie there is coming in at the opportune time once again. I guess he's hat trick, so Wolfie's definitely not fine. Surely now we can't throw this away. A 3 0 lead, although there's still over three minutes to go, so. And then these, the Skyhawks only need to average a goal a minute, and they could easily bring themselves back into this game and take it to overtime. And the ball, though, in our side now, which is definitely no way we need for this. We're actually going back towards a goal. And you know, here there's Maverick. Oh, of course I've got. That was like the Logan Paul makeshift team of different things and cars and people. Now then, just as I, as I say, can they do anything to come back in this game? And it only takes, well, that 10 seconds or so? And then Maverick gets them back a goal. So now we've only got a two goal advantage, but an advantage is still an advantage. And if we try and go for a first touch, yes we do, but the ball comes into our side and we get launched in the complete opposite direction here of the ball. That puts us out of play for well, a bit momentarily. Let's come back towards the last thing about actually a nice save there from Slider, I'm pretty sure that was. Sends the ball down right back now, it's actually towards the goal of the Sliders. No, they can actually do anything against Fire Hawks and they're coming towards the goal. Actually, just save there. I mean, with a save, well, a shot like that should honestly have been easily saved, but then again, against our team, a shot like that would probably have gone in the goal. That's probably why the Skyhawks are above us in the standings and don't have a four game straight loss streak. And can try to get the ball coming down. We go for a hit, but it just goes to the complete wrong angle. Because honestly, well, cause I use ball cam constantly, I'm focusing on where the ball is, not where the goal is as as much. That's going back towards the goal, he bounces off. So they go for here. Wolfie goes for it. Just enough the bar that could have gone in. That could mean Wolfie's fourth goal of the match. And basically, Wolfie's just like an army of one. And there's just me, Slider, and Sundown. It. We're just here. We haven't really done a whole lot. But I'll say that again. Nice clear ball away from the goal. So I've done something there. If you look at the uh, the score sheets and the, and the uh, in match points, we haven't really got a whole lot really compared to Wolfie. Still though, two minutes of the game left to go. Now then, can we just try and keep the offence going? Now keep the ball in the side of the Skyhawks now, because any goals that we can get from here will be much appreciated, but we've just been just consolidating a two-goal advantage. That's perfectly fine by me, because we just need to get a win on the ball, get some forward momentum going. There's no way can we take five straight losses, and somehow as I expect to be in the top six come the end of these matches. 
and then the ball actually for now towards our Garcia. That's in line. We go for that's the other thing. Well, three of us hit that, honestly. And the ball just rebounds back to where it came from. Actually, that's a hit. It sends it down towards their goal. And they made a bit of a mistake. The fumble. Then we go for a shot. Yes, we do. And finally, we got our first goal in what seems like a very, very long time. You see there, the uh, Maverick actually fumbled it. So uh, from hero to zero there from Maverick. So it goes from scoring goal to effectively giving us back a goal. I mean, the goalkeeper there went for it, to be fair to them, but the hit will always get there quicker than the player if he can get it good enough. Now going for first pitch once against we do and the ball stays in the sky to the Skyhawks. Well it goes a bit fairly central after it all plays out but still not being towards our goal that's that's a plus. And it's actually coming to our side a little bit but it's still nowhere near our goal so can we try and take out this three goal advantage that we've got now and try and keep that going now for the final minute 12 seconds. And we're also now going to, into the corner now. Can I go hit now? We, we, well we get a little bit of a hit. And the ball's clearing back now towards our goal. It's nowhere needed to be. Frankly, though, that hit goes absolutely nowhere near towards the goal. That's going to talking, of course, going out towards the other Skyhawks now because we're into the final minute now of the match. And they're going to need to score a goal now about every 20 seconds average for, to, for at least for the game to go to overtime. So the pressure now definitely mounting for the Skyhawks. It's been a while since we felt it wasn't in his position. And Wolfie, though, just adds it to it even more now. We've got a four goal now advantage. They need to score like every 10 seconds just over now. In this final 46 seconds of Wolfie, he's just finding all of the gaps and going for absolutely every single one, which is definitely what we need now to bring ourselves back in the championship. Remember that we're not a dead team. We are actually here going for the championship. Now then, the ball comes just about into our side. It remains fairly central still. Now, actually, that's pretty nice. Towards our goal, we go for bicycle, but we didn't get it. I think though, Wolfie though clears it. So Wolfie's going for attack, going for some good defense as well. So Wolfie's just doing absolutely everything in this game. Trying to go for a wall here, but we're missing a play. can still look at the hang of these now. We go down into the final place of the match. That's going right in line with the goal. And Goose. So yeah, I forgot there was some, there was birds on that team. Gets the goal back now. So this game, well, they need the goal, but now they need to score another three. I need to score them in less than ten seconds each for them to, for the game to go at least over time now. So it's still looking fairly good for us. One goal gone. It could prove crucial that one goal, but if we can just stay in the top six, then really that's that's all we need to do. That's all we need to focus on is getting a victory. Then we can worry about the goddamn slate of going for Hill's voice. Yeah, we get an aerial hit for like the third one ever. I never does came back towards the goal. Actually, nice save there from Slider. And the ball though is going high. It's going away from our goal in terms of the line, but that's that's right towards the goal once again. Trying to get for a clear shot. Yes, we do. And we can send the ball now back down to the side. Of the Skyhawks now, and the Nats shall be the nail in the coffin now for this match. Can we try and get into the goal back there? You go for a shot, yes, we are oh, so close. They just had a little bit more angle. I could have got that in. Either way, though, Wolfie, though, he gets Kyle of the match. And honestly, I, I'm not going to complain about that. He's, that was fully deserved. He got way more points. And all I think he's probably got more points than the rest of the team combined, honestly, with those four goals. And uh, th only three shots on target, but four goals. I don't even know how that works, but it, it just does. As we go up against the Rebels next time. But the Bombers got a victory over the Express. Monarchs beat the Rovers 2-0. Dragons got a victory over the Seekers. And the Guardians actually lost 4-0 to the Rebels. The Guardians had a shocker. But they still got a three-game win advantage over the Monarchs. With the Express in third, Skyhawks in fourth. But we're, and we're in fifth still. With the Bombers running off the playoff places. With the Dragons in seventh. And the Seekers, Rebels and Rovers at the bottom of the table. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this match and finally enjoyed getting a victory on the board in what seems like forever. Remember to uh, comment down below, subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They'll be down in the description below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.